Alrighty, let's wash this in full first. Ooh, I got the corgi rig in there. It's cute. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Dance off. <laughs> and then gets out. All right. So my question to you, because right now I, let me check. Check your mail and I didn't see anything else in terms of what's going on. So right now, basically I'm seeing this. I think we are a bit too high. There's a lot of room down here where I think we can bring this. Yeah, might as well center the guy. I don't think we need that much room down here because as we continue, it's almost like this it's a nicer composition in terms of where the where the angle is and looking down. And you can still have this centered. But then at the same time, do we have to? I mean, to me, I like this just because it introduces some diagonals. If he sits there, and we can go even a bit lower-ish in terms of looking down, not with this pole aligned here, but just something where, not that everything always has to be in the thirds with my awesome uh, drawing here, but imagine, you know, he's somewhere sitting here He's fairly centered, but it just gives me too much room here. It is a big focus to me, I feel like, with that, and it's very symmetrical. But I don't think we need it in terms of the story you want to tell, even just within the shot. So I don't know. Personally, I would probably keep it like this. Where is he sitting? He's sitting behind the corgi. So if he if he is here, in however form, doing his thing, I think that would be totally fine too. The bigger question that I have was you were asking about zoom. I think... Apart from the composition at the beginning, I think there's some good or handheld. It gives us a sense of we're in there riding, but the thing is, it's not moving. <laughs> so to me, I would reduce that wobble quite a bit and keep it fairly static. Comes out and then watch out. It's a bit of a hard stop in terms of rotation. There's a bit of a double thing of you're translating then it feels like you're stopping a translate and the rotate at different times. Right? A little ro rotation at the very end. It feels like your translate stops sooner. Could be wrong. That's how it feels. Maybe. <laughs> and then we have this here. Moving out. My biggest question that I had was what is going on? I'm not sure what's going on. So we have... Also, why is he here? Like, there's no payoff for the dog. He's so cute. There could be something. But right now... He's there, and then it seems like he's laughing at something, but I don't know what it is. Then he freaks out, and I don't know why. And then he sees something angry. He's going through a couple emotions here. Shoots out here, and it seems like he's going to use, that's cool, his hands. Ba bam to break through that. That's cool. Got to roll into this. Clean pose. Watch out, little tangent there. But then it seems like, okay, now he's celebrating. So what happened? I don't understand what happened um, when he comes out here. Did he defeat someone? Did he scare someone away? He could totally dance. But then he does that. And then he realizes, oh, wait, I'm missing my guy. But he's looking down and not here. So I'm not sure if he is actually thinking about this as it's leaving. So watch out for eyeline. And then he starts going. But the thing is, if his... Let's check. He uses, he uses that to jump. But the thing is, this is where he wants to go. Like, this is what's important to him. But then visually, he he is fully turned and up going this way, even though he should be going this way. And to me, it feels like you could have him run this way with then a sidestep here to jump off again. It's just like a, a thing to help him get higher. But still, visually, he goes towards where he wants to go. That's my only confusion. Because right now, even here, he shoots straight at us. Watch out for the silhouette. It kind of works, but it just this feels like it's going to shoot straight at me. Isn't Doesn't he want to go this way? So I'm confused again what he's doing. And then he finally gets to this and is being pulled by the Metro here. I feel like that could be a bigger thing of... Wow. See, then my mind goes, okay, if he shoots this, at what point does he hit the thing? So that has to go in front of this pole and is being pulled. But then it feels like the speed of this 
See that? We're catching up here. We're not as fast as this. So how is he being pulled so quickly? So you're going to have to speed this up a lot more. We're going to find the right timing so that the, the spider web, imagine it's, it's behind this. That when he comes forward, that it, we don't feel or think that, well, the web is going to, is about to hit this here and it's going to have to go this way. I don't know. There are lots of things that I'm slightly confused about. You might have told me, but I was checking the mails and I don't see anything explained there, but probably user error on my end. So apologize if I missed something. Right now I'm not seeing it, but if you could remind me, and if not, elaborate on what you're trying to do, like what are the story points, I can help you a bit more. Um, and that is that. All right. Thanks. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.